Mamma Mia! What the fudge is this, Dr. Wily? What? Hey everybody, this is Miles Luigi, welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Brothers: The uh, Hunt for the Magical Key, where apparently we found out that Dr. Wily has something to do with the locked door in front of Mario's house. And unfortunately, not only does Dr. Wily have something to do with it, the Metroids do as well. Ah, get off me, quit sucking away coins. I'm going to win, I think. Uh, I just barely did. Uh, that's, that does make still a question. What happens if I do run out of coins? Do I just die? Because you get to 100 coins and you make it to zero, and then you just, well, um, well, die. Well, I guess we're going to find out for science. For science. Ah, uh, you do just die. Okay, so, yeah, uh, goal. Stay the fudge away from Metroid. Stay away from them, because now I have two on screen, and if I get one on me, I'm dead. I, I, please be integral pipe. No, it's not. <laughs> I, I've got to dodge three objects that hone in on me. And they don't appear to be affected by the screen moving at all. They're kind of tied to the actual screen itself. Uh, none of these pipes are enterable. No, no! Down the hole I go. Okay, I need to also do this for science. Just space time, rewind this. Okay. Oh, uh, well, I can't do it for science. The Koopa football player runs into me. Okay, if I am big and I get one to latch on to me like this. Um, or they could just die. Okay, we'll just go with they just die, because apparently Metroids aren't the most well-coded thing in Super Mario Bros. You hunt from the magical key. I'm curious who made the Metroid. It probably wasn't Alex. No, he probably just took the resource from somewhere. Shoot. Down the hole I go as I die because I ran into the Koopa Troopa. I seem to be noticing a theme here. We're intrinsically due to the way the enemies work in this game. Um, it seems like you get by an enemy and then you get royally screwed over. And then usually your invincibility frames are enough to save you, especially in situations like this, where it's like, okay, you got hit by the... Wow. This level keeps going and going. <laughs> where you get hit by one thing and then that just screws you over. See what I mean? But that Metro I just got... How do I get these Metroids to keep coming off of me immediately? Like, okay, I guess in that case, Fire Flower did it. I don't understand these Metroids. I don't understand how we're even able to survive. Metroid, if you know anything about Metroids, they, like, just point onto you and suck you until you die. And we're apparently killing them somehow. And, yeah, and we're doing it without freezing them to death or anything like that. And they are very annoying, mind you. Well, now we're down to just seven coins and a P-switch. I'm going to hit the P-switch here. And that got me a whole bunch of coins here. And uh, nothing else here of particular note. Although these blocks, it appears that uh, I need to be able to destroy them. Oh! Kill me. Kill me. Thank you. Alright, now that we've had that gum, uh, oh, who am I joking? There. <laughs> uh, we're, we're gonna have the Koopa football player just kind of run into everything for until we hit the uh, P-switch. Oh, actually, wait, no. Shoot. Not the right idea, because I need to let him, uh, shoot. No, how did I want to do this? Um... Shoot, 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 shoot. I messed that up. I messed that up. Um, shoot, 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 shoot. How do I want to do this? Because I don't have a cape. Alright, how would you do this, Miles Luigi, if you don't have a cape? Okay, so let's straight hurt back. How do I get rid of you? There we go. Okay. Mushroom, please. Alright, let's think calmly and clearly before we hit the P-switch. Okay, let's knock away all the blocks. Okay, you're gonna use the blue blocks to do this, alright? Now we don't want this guy coming alive. Oh, he came alive. Shoot. Screw you. Ah, okay. We need to get the other side revealed. And, oh, he didn't jump on me to sack me. Okay, good. No sacks this play session. At least not yet. No getting sacked yet. Okay, here we go. And by doing that, now we can enter the pipe of awesomeness. The pipe of awesomeness leads us to an area where cannonballs are going to be firing at Luigi, and presumably there's going to be even more Metroids. No, this is just a bonus area with the dragon coin. Uh, let's go ahead and check inside of the pipes here, and unfortunately there is nothing in any of the pipes here as well. Okay, duly noted. So the pipe of awesomeness could actually be the uh, useless bonus area. I went through all that effort to go into there? Really? Uh, I guess you technically can't call it a useless bonus area? Because, you know, there was actually something we did there. I called a whole died. It's like we got a dragon coin there. It, okay, you, you get a one-up compared to the original Super Mario World, which had the useless bonus room. And in the useless bonus room, come on! Let's try that again. The useless bonus room in Super Mario World tend to not even have that. It was just like, oh, hey, here's ha have an alternative path through the level that's usually longer than the normal path, and you just feel jiff because, you know, you went through this other passageway to, you know, gain some form of an advantage, whether it's a way to speed run through the level or... Uh, 
Ah! Whether it's a way to speed run through the level or, um, um, you know, get that dragon coin. Even a dragon coin gives the room a some purpose, you know? Even if it's that much effort to get into that room. Basically, I don't feel like the amount of effort I went into to get into that room and the number of deaths and load states, it was not worth my time or effort. And I'm down to five coins, which means this next Metroid, I just can't let latch on to me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, go away. Quit growing tangential to me. No! Uh, okay. Ah, the end of the level. The end of the level. It's in sight, and Luigi has gotten through this, uh, Metroid Bastia. I wanted to make a joke, and I was gonna say catastrophe, and then I was gonna say keytastrophe, but that's not exactly what happened. That was one heck of a level. I was about to ask, are there gonna be any tile set mess ups here? Because actually, don't we have a button here that lets us. No, we can't switch to Mario and Luigi. We can transfer lives? Uh, do I really, really, really want to run back to the door of Mario's house to get more power-ups? Okay, that's not the button that I meant to press there. Not particularly. <laughs> uh, okay, let's go ahead and enter into 9-2 and hopefully we end up, uh, well, maybe being inside is a little safer than being outside. It appears wherever we are had to, uh, conserve electricity because they had to turn on the red lights. And as you know, red lights, um, they are lower wavelengths than the other lights, consequently they take less energy to uh, less energy to um, illuminate a room, and you know it's red light, so it's like we're able to see this. Ooh, this is a difficult jump. Go! Oh, yes, I made it. Here we go. So it appears like we're in the underbody of uh, what was the name of the uh, place again? Come on, Miles Luigi. Come on, you can remember your video game history, especially when it's a Metroid question that you're asking yourself. Uh, it's not SR3. That, that, that's the planet, SR388. Um, what was the name of the, uh, gosh darn it, what was the name of the spaceship in Metroid Fusion? Uh, spaceship in Metroid Fusion. I literally can't remember the name of the Metroid Fusion spaceship. That was really fair. Also, that's a solid platform, so I'm just gonna wait for this next enemy to just fall off the edge and die. Thank you very much. Also, how do I... Don't tell me those are ladders. Don't tell me those are ladders. I think those are ladders. No, they're not ladders. Okay, so I wasn't uh, going crazy. Oh. Boy. Okay, space colony. Oh, I could jump on you and make it to the next platform up. Whee! No, I can't! Ah! Game, don't make me do one of these! Okay, so we have a, a single platform here. Enemies. Oh, wait. Am I supposed to use the enemies falling down onto the platform there to make it to the next platform? Because very clearly that's not going to do the trick. Ooh, that's a type. Eh, that is a tight way to get through here. Anyway, for whatever reason in my mind, I was thinking Space Colony Arc, but Arc is uh, totally a Sonic Adventure thing. Reset pipe? No. No? Completely new area here. Uh, but, I, I, what, does the game just refer to it as a space station that I literally can't remember the name here with sectors 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6? Um, uh, the, 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 um, Samus introduces this character named Adam, who isn't a complete jerk at the time. Okay, come on, that is shenanigans. I... What the fudge? I just want to kill this thing! Very clearly, the room is telling me I need to kill this thing, so I shot a shell at him, and it didn't do anything. Ugh. Okay, let me try that again. Oh, I guess the hitbox is just the uh, bulb of the piranha plant. Okay, so that's why I missed my shots? Okay, let's not put our power-ups in precarious positions and uh, actually get ourselves our next Koopa shell. Oop, I timed that wrong! Okay, patience is virtue, Miles Luigi. Surely you know what patience is, right? Yes. Okay, like that. Oh, I missed. I just want another hit. Quickly, hit, thank you. And also, that Koopa shell is just going ape over there. <laughs> I'm going crazy! Oh, come on! Miles, Luigi, you got a key. Oh, I call baloney. You're supposed to take three hits. This this is not canon anymore. <laughs> Super Mario Brothers: The Hunt for the Magical Cookie is no longer a canon raw hack. <laughs> I don't know exactly what that means, but that's just me being frustrated. Okay, you die. Not me die. You die. Also, I enabled the frame advance. That's no good. Also, no, 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 no. Okay, you die. Four hits. Four hits? Was four hits really necessary? 
In any case, we have gotten a key, and judging by the fact that the level didn't just magically end, I'm going to assume it's not the key to Mario's house in a while. These uh, alien things are uh, supposed to be uh, Rexes. <laughs> you know, the aliens that got infected with the SRX uh, virus? Yes, those things. Also, I need to wait for one to fall down here. There we go. That's kind of an ingenious thing now that I look at it. I was a little frustrated at first that I couldn't just proceed on forward to the level and be like, yeah, I'm just going forward to the level. Aha! So I did need to fight the baddie for badness. It's not like we're just in Dr. Wily's castle, which I guess Dr. Wily decided to invade the uh, research space station before, you know, the research space station could uh, start researching the... Uh, I died. Uh, before the space station uh, could start researching the X. So what would Dr. Wily do if he had such knowledge of such a thing as X? Well, uh, create the X Robot Master and, well, the world's done! Uh, Mega Man will defeat him eventually, and then Mega Man gets the X power. Or, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it would be the X power. Uh, interesting to say it in that perspective, because it's like, well, Mega Man got the X power up in no relation to the Mega Man X series. So I'm gonna hit the P switch here. Uh, down here. Ah, uh, I'm gonna assume those were blocks. I'm gonna assume what I did was a good thing. Uh, time will tell if that was a good thing or not, but unfortunately for until we see that other passageway, we won't really truly know. Oh, another one of these baloney things that's gonna take more than, a uh... Ah! Die. Oh, my key is available now, but I don't trust you. Die! Die! Go away! You're, you're gonna take the fourth hit. When, since when do you take four hits? They, he must have been infected with the X Parasite, and therefore he is a little bit stronger. But the thing is, little X Parasites don't split out of him. Actually, it's probably a good thing there's no X Parasites around here, because otherwise, um, pretty confident Mario would be dead, and then Mario would be infected by the X, and then Samus would have to kill Mario, and then Mario would lose another life. <laughs> But we're gonna fight Toaster Man from Cave Story, and uh, I couldn't move at the beginning of the fight, which means he pounded the ground heavily. Oh, great, I got this shenanigans to deal with. You're gonna just constantly spew rockets into my face. Guys, nice to know the Toaster from Cave Story is really thinking of Mario's best interest by shooting rockets that I swear to God. L look at this projectile angle they're going at, and I'm thinking, well, they're clearly going down at me, so I need to jump. And that was shenanigans, so let's go ahead and try that again. And I can't move, and now I can move. But let's Let's watch these rockets, okay? See, they went after Mario, so very clearly the only way I was dodging something like that is if I was going to jump. Where am I? Okay, I'm stunned. That's what happened. Okay, so these rockets. Those ones didn't go down after Mario, even though they had a downward uh, motion. So, uh, yeah. And those, okay. See, see, this is really weird. It's like I'm getting conflicting information on whether or not I jump to dodge the rockets or not. And it's nice to know that because Toaster becomes a hurt box instead of a hit box shortly after he jumps, which is the ideal time to attack him, that I'm gonna have to be really really careful with my attacking phases. Basically, wait for all the rockets to come out, hit them, and get the fudge away. That's actually been a theme with a lot of the boss battles here. Hit the boss, get the fudge away, because projectiles are baloney. And see, there we go. I guess we're gonna call it the toaster's swamp attack. Yes, there we go. And see, there he did it again. He, he becomes like an ugly butt box. <laughs> I'm willing to bet you, you never would have thought that uh, the uh, thing from Cave Story would be called an ugly butt box. Which, last I checked, Cave Story bosses and Cave Story is actually a relatively difficult game. So this being a relatively difficult boss, I guess, is all but ever so appropriate. Oh, I can spin jump on you. Wait, this is a boss that actually takes hits from spin jumping? Like, no other boss did that so far. You just kind of ricocheted off them. But no, I can spin jump on you. And that actually does damage. And I'm going to theoretically assume that it keeps me safe from the butt attack. Oh, come on. Provided I can get out of it. Ah, there we go. Quit running after me. I need to get the fudge away from you. I died. Oh, it appears that you came from the same retarded boss battle tree that every other retarded boss battle came from. They're all the same poison from the same fruit tree. How, how does that phrase go exactly? Fruit from a poison tree? All the same fruit from the same poison tree? Something like that? It's a phrase saying, like, if two evil people are brought up in, like, the same environment, like, like yeah, they're, they're both evil. They're saying both the same fruit of the bad tree. I think the crow can actually be used in a lot of different circumstances to describe something that is bad. <laughs> it's bad because it came from the same source, the same environment. That's kind of where that saying comes from. There we go. But unfortunately, this spin jump is not powerful enough to stop. Ah! Oh, my mushroom! Aha! 
you have decided to run away, you little coward. Don't come on, finish the battle. Uh, he's not going to finish the battle. Well, it appears that Mario is going to walk out into the middle of our space. So, um... I'm looking at a timer. I'm wondering if I should continue on or no. I'm going to... Uh, long episode today, guys. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and continue on here with World 9-3. We're, we're now in a submarine! Yes, this is actually an excellent way to continue on with the episode. It appears that we can see the skyline from down beneath. Let's actually check we're in space, or I guess we're really high in the sky, actually. We're not in space. Just in case you ever wanted to see Luigi in an air submarine, check for any cool football players, and our ever-wonderful Super Mario Land homage. You know what? This is awesome! Just, just because of the uh, contrast here. This plane thing, or I guess the submarine thing was used in Super Mario Land. Unbelievable situation where it's like, yeah, you're playing as Mario. Luigi wasn't even in Super Mario Land, by the way, and I am not taking the long way, by the way. Uh, <laughs> and it's like, yeah, we're in unbelievable situations. Here, it's like, yeah, we're just gonna fly next to a cityscape. You're listening to Mega Man music, firing at regular Super Mario World enemies. And that's awesome. And not only is that, is that awesome, we're gonna have torpedo Ted's running after us as well. Just everything is gonna be mishmashed in this level. I better hurry my ass up here so I don't get hit by any of these things here. By the way, this firing is completely automatic. I'm not pressing anything. Oh, actually, I'm holding down a button. Never mind. I was holding down a button. Can I mash the button? Oh, I can mash the button. I actually kind of like it better when I'm holding down the button, though, because it just has the constant stream here, and I feel like the constant stream here is much more useful to me. I am not taking that. Oh, God. Oh! I know better this time. <laughs> I, I'm just gonna stay near the bottom, constantly shoot the torpedoes in case something wants to start coming. Oh gosh, fire bar. Okay, time to mash the button once it lets me mash, mash, mash through. I really want to stay far away from those fire. Oh, okay, I'm gonna go above this one and hope I live here. <laughs> so basically, if you took the uh, pee balloon from Super Mario World, but instead of making it a really awkward thing to control, you just replace it with the submarine, you all of a sudden have a really awesome section instead. And I really like that I can mash these things, by the way, because like I can break things. So far though, this level has had zero power-ups, and that is a problem, because if I screw up once, I'm finished, and we really don't want that to happen, because this, this is an old scroller, and it's definitely been taking its sweet time to go through. I do like that I can use the torpedoes to kill the urchins, watch this. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot lots of torpedoes for you. Where in the world did Luigi fit all these torpedoes into this little submarine here? The only way that explains this is if the submarine is synthesizing its own torpedoes through energy, which in that case it has a very condensed energy source, which I guess you could theoretically justify based on the fact that mass equals um, energy times. Oh, wait, no, um, E equals mc squared. Wow, that's so easy. Uh, mass equals energy divided by the speed of light squared. <laughs> that's not. That's right. Time for a little bit of algebra to save the day. Uh, I think it was actually algebra that eventually calculated the mass energy equivalence based on a whole bunch of. Uh, theories about Einstein and relativity. Uh, yes, it's always fun to be able to just figure out a whole bunch of equations and somehow manage to find a uh, solution at the end. Oh, no, 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 no. I thought I was going to clear it, but I am not here. Perhaps I should just hold on the button for a sec here, uh, so this screen doesn't scroll, slow down that much. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll hold down the button for until we see something more of interest. Out of curiosity, pay attention to that clock down clock. Is it slowing down with the screen when it slows down? Okay, it seems like it is. Okay, so there's genuine slowdown here. I really hope that giant fire bar doesn't extend far enough down. No, but it will extend far enough that getting these blocks, yeah, no, not worth our time. Let's go ahead and enter in the pipe, and unfortunately, Luigi's gonna escape out of his awesome torpedo. Man, using that ability was like using UFO in a Kirby game. You get the UFO power up, and it's just like, yes, I am dominating everything! Everything is gonna get destroyed today. Aww. You see, because you could normally not take UFO out of a level, unfortunately. It's like in this round, I like not being able to take Yoshi out of a level. Why can't we take Yoshi out of a level? Well, just so you can't bring Yoshi into the level with the torpedo and the abyssal air submarine. We'll call it the air submarine. But anyway, that takes us to World 9-4. So in the next episode, let's play Super Mario Brothers: The Hunt for the Magical Key. What the fudge, Dr. Wily? So, this has been Miles Luigi. See you next time.